Okay, so now to get fancy here. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the front, this is the back, right? And this is the acrylic on the inside. First of all, if we're going to do this right, this should actually be flipped. Okay, you grave on the back side and then view it from the front, and it looks much better. Okay, so first of all, there's that. But we won't worry about that right now. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to get rid of this one, I guess. Oh, and I got all these to get rid of. Darn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's fix that one. I guess we don't even need it. Let's just select all this stuff. Oh, hold down control, unselect that, press delete. Okay. And then over here, I'll select all the red ones. Hold down shift, select all these red ones, and group them. Right? Because if I were to go all the way around, I would have selected everything, which I didn't want. So I select half, hold down shift, select the next half. Okay. Let's take this all and center it. Okay, so we're back to this point here. First of all, this do an edge light, that's a ton of light, and it's not always like even or nice looking. Okay. So let's uh let's fix that first. Okay. Let's bring it down to the lower left. Let's see what does that move to lower left? Okay. Clean up our work area a little bit. Okay. So first thing I want to do is this. When I select this, this is 620 by 230. Okay, I got to remember that. 620 by 230. I'm going to take a circle here. Let's see, hold down Shift to make it perfect. Let's see, lock the aspect. I'm going to make this circle one, one millimeter. Okay, I'm also going to make it like, I don't know, green. I'm going to make that a line. Okay. And can we see that? I'm going to make this, I'll make it black. There we go. Make sure people can see it. Okay. So I got this one black circle. That is one millimeter. Okay. Actually, I want to make it 0.5. There we go. Tiny little thing. Okay. I'm going to do an outline. I'm going to make a couple of these. So it's going to have rings on it. So offset distance 0.5. Hit OK. Select the next one. Offset. 0.5 and what are we at 2.5 we'll go one more offset 0.5 cool okay so I've got these four rings right I'm going to group them and then let's okay so first of all memory refresher what was this 530 540 by 230 620 by 230 okay and I should just write that down whoa 620 by 230 Okay. There we go. Keep it down there. <laughs> okay. 620 by 230. Okay. I'm going to select this. I'm going to do an array here. Okay. So I want, I'll just start with five here. And that is way too much. I want to start, let's see, let's do padding. Yeah, padding between edges. And X spacing of, I don't know, three. There we go. Oh, we still have reverse direction selected. So I'm going to turn that off. And then Y spacing three. Let's do five of these two. Okay. So I guess I could make it like 0.5 just to keep the pattern going, right? And so all these circles are 0.5 from each other. Then this is 0.5, but there's a big gap here, which I don't like. But I can make this as my pattern. Okay. I'll show you what the pattern does in just a second here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to make it sort of triangular. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, so we are, let's see, what is that, 3.5, what's a 0.5 padding on Y? So it's 4 millimeters between this hole and this hole. So that means I want the shift to be 2 millimeters. So X column shift, I'm going to do 2, okay? And then I'm going to tuck it in just a little bit here. Whoa, that's a lot of it. Maybe zero. Zero? That looks about right. Okay, I'm not going to get it perfect. I'm not going to pull out all the math, but that looks like about the same distance here is the same distance than these two. About. <laughs> cool. Okay, so where does 620 by 230 come in? So total height, 230. 
right? And so now this is going to be 230 tall, or almost 230 tall. Total width, here we go. Here we get the computer crunching. <laughs> yeah, the computer has to think about that one. Cool. Okay. Hit OK. See, now I'm going to select this here, this welcome. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. Oh, it's not quite ready for that, I guess, yet. Let's zoom back in a little bit. It'll eventually get there. Okay. Pull that off. Select all this. There we go. Okay. Select that. Group it. It's grouped. Select both the word and this stuff. There we go. And then we're going to center it. There you go. Center everything. Okay. So with both these things selected here, okay, we're going to do a Boolean intersection, which means everywhere where both this shape, the black shapes, and the orange shapes, where they intersect is all it's going to keep here. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to think for a second because that's quite a, quite a lot going on. There we go. Cool. So now as we look close, instead of being like this fill, like this is, right, just going back and forth, filling it in, now it's all these patterns. And so even though from, you know, this distance, it just says welcome, as you look closer, like you actually get to see all these cool little shapes in your engraving, okay? Do keep in mind that it's a sort of a pain to weed it all out, right, take off all the paper. But I'm going to try, uh, I was given a tip to use vinegar, and so just wiping vinegar in and wiping it down because you don't use alcohol because it might crack the acrylic after it's been heat treated by the laser. Okay, get rid of my note. Okay, so here I have this welcome, okay? I'm just going to keep this here because this will eventually be the final final piece in the middle, okay? I guess I'll, I'll, hold the, I'll grab the acrylic edge. I'll hold down control, grab the red. Let's see, make a copy, make a paste it there, select everything, center it all. Okay. So this is my acrylic piece. See, I guess this should actually be black because that if it cuts through the holes, it cuts through the edge, right? Same thing, and I'll make this one red. And so just so I don't get, like, lines on it, I'll probably make the speed, like, 20. All right, can I keep those circular, circular looking? Max power... Let's go with, I don't know, let's go with 20. Let's go a little deeper here on this. Okay. And one pass, of course. And to get through, let's do a speed of 5. This will be 3 16th inch acrylic. And max power 100. Run the thing full full speed. Cool. So that's definitely, that's going to be my acrylic piece, okay? Well, it'll be my acrylic piece so far, Okay. Because it'd also be nice to have room for electronics in here, which there is a little bit of room down here where I could put, you know, a chip or something so I wouldn't have to put the chip, like, outside. There's also, like, hanging. There's a few things we'll go over still. But right now, let's focus on this. So I'm going to copy that and paste. Oh, I need the, the holes, too. Hold down Shift. Copy everything. Control-C. Control-V. Okay. So all this is blue, first of all. This all gets cut out of, I'm going to probably use birch, three, three millimeter birch, one eighth inch birch, whatever you want to call it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a hole. Make it perfect by holding down shift. There we go. See, eight millimeters. Most stuff can fit through eight millimeters. Okay, most screws and, like, tacks can go through eight millimeters, right? Like the backside anyways. Okay, I'm going to control C, control V. No? Oh, I'm s Okay, selector tool. Control C, control V. There we go. I'm going to do 24. Okay. Take these, center them. Cool. Okay. So, real quick, this is the front piece of birch, right? Copy that. Let's paste it somewhere. We'll call that good, right? And now we'll take this guy here, and I want it centered between these two holes perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. Okay, I'll make it green. And it's going to 
crosshair, once I'm in the center of the circle, it's going to snap to that, right? So I click, and then I wait till it crosshairs again, and I click. Okay, cool. Turn off my line tool. Let's group these two things and set it. Let's see. There it is. So now it's in the perfect center of the line. Delete the line. So you're going to copy this, paste it over here. Okay. Now, if I just move it up, it's going to move everywhere. But if I hold shift, it's only going to move, you know, up, straight up, diagonally, like perfectly diagonally or horizontally. Okay. So I'm going to bring it about here. Uh, about there. There we go. Okay, let's see, let's select this. I'm gonna hold down shift and select that. I'm gonna union those two, okay? There we go. So now that's part of the frame here, okay? Now I'm gonna take this and center it perfectly on top of that, okay? I'm gonna select these three things, so the outer box, all the circles for riveting or screwing them together, and the inner box, select them all, and I'm gonna reverse them or mirror them. There we go. So now over here, we got the mount, and over here, it's waiting for a mount. So select that, hold down shift, select that, and union. Okay. So we have that, and now we have a much cooler sign. Okay, so now we can actually screw something in. So this, this guy goes up front, right? Okay. And then this guy will hang, right? So this guy goes in back. And you can actually like hang it because it's got hanging points and you can make sure it's straight. <laughs> and then this one, I guess we should still hit the backside. So select that, mirror it. There we go. Still come from the backside, but it's going to mirror out this nice little pattern. So it will, uh, it'll just look neater when you, uh, when you light it up because it'll be bright, like rings of light instead of just this mush of light, which the mush of light looks good, but I don't know, I, I like the lines better. Lines lines look better like that. And also, let's see. So if I were to do cut selected graphics and then order to select that, and let's see, the speed 20 and 20, I'm going to do my preview. And this is going to take 33 minutes. Okay, 33 minutes. That's, that's kind of a long time. Let's select that. And let's do, uh, let's see, what do we got here? We have, let's see, speed, let's go speed 150. Speed it up a little bit. Power 60 or so, that's fine. Yeah, bi-directional, and let's speed it up a little bit, get like 0.125, so eight lines per millimeter instead of 10. And let's see what we got here. So now I select this, and this is going to take an hour, <laughs> an hour and one minute with some compromises. I don't know, maybe we can do... Fill shapes individually. Save a couple minutes. 54 minutes. Okay. So that's probably the best we're going to do with it looking good. We could also try flood fill, which might speed it up. Well, it's also got overcut. I don't know why it does that. Overscanning. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it one more time. Okay. 49 minutes. That's pretty good, actually. So 49 minutes, but it still just looks... I don't know, it doesn't look quite as clean as when you do these little tiny circles like this. It's a cooler effect. And that's, let's see, we had 50, well, 49 minutes, and this one was, yeah, 33 minutes. So this one goes faster and looks cooler. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I could call this good, right? And walk away and be happy. But that's not quite my style. <laughs> okay. So first of all, delete those inner things like that. Select that and center them. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. But I'm going to use this one because if I use this to create an outline, it's going to like bog down my computer. So I'm going to take this here and do an outline. Distance, let's go way out here. Whoops. Sure, an inch, that's fine. Okay, is that fine? I don't know, maybe let's go 24. This show doesn't interfere with the outside. Okay, cool. Call that good. Let's make it black. Let's make it blacker. There we go. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. Bring that up here. There we go. It's centered. Cool. Okay. So if I do this, like, 
then I could pick a really piece of pretty wood, right? Because it'd be the pretty piece of wood all the way around on the outside. And it would actually stop here. And so let's let's give an example. So I'm going to select this piece, select this, and union them. I think I union them. Let's make sure. Nope. Let's see what I do here. I don't intersect that, do I? No. I mean, I'm getting the right lines there. Maybe I have to intersect and then difference. I'm going to try that. Let's see, because I just want to keep these outsides. Oh, duh, I know how to do that. Okay. I'm going to make a big square. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So you hold down shift and select that one too. So the outside and this inside cloudy poof is now joined as one. So I'm going to select this and then hold down shift, select this, and then everywhere where they intersect is going to keep. Okay, there we go. Okay. But I guess that'll still... No, I guess I want to get rid of this. No, I want to keep this. I want to have a line here. Okay, I'm still keeping the wrong thing. Whoops. Okay. So, let's see. I want to keep this line. So, I want to get rid of this line out here, actually. So, I should be able to do this. Let's see. Hold this down. Or hold shift and select this line here. And then difference it. Nope, wrong way. Okay. I don't intersect. Oh. No. Because that doesn't actually get rid of those. Yeah, I want this line gone. So I should... Yeah, what am, Oh, maybe if I hold down this, hold down shift, hold down this, group that together. Okay. Now hold down this. Now union. Okay. I got exactly what I want there, but I still need an outside line. But I just happen to have one. Control C, Control V. Find that center. Oh, there we go. Okay, is that the right line? Yeah, that's the right line. Okay. So we don't need this big box around here anymore. Single that out. Okay. So, yeah, this piece of wood now. Uh, well, now, I guess I should turn this blue just so everything makes sense. There we go. Okay. So the acrylic will come way back here, but the piece of wood will just have a window into this welcome, right? So you maybe you have some, like, rustic cedar, some aromatic cedar, some Tennessee cedar. Cedar's really pretty, <laughs> right? And then it looks really good against all sorts of lights, too. And then all these little patterns in the welcome. So as they get closer, like, it's just going to look nice. Okay. But that gives us plenty of room for electronics. So let's open up Googly here. And let's do an ESP8266 dimensions. Oh, I guess we need the mini node. I think it's a D1. I don't know. Let's see if images pop up. eBay, no, they won't have good. I don't know. Oh. But that's what we're looking for. Yeah, a lot of these are what we're looking for. So I want specs. Let's see if it says. Yeah, eBay, there's no, like, <laughs> there's no expectations. There's no standards. It doesn't say over here, and it leaves it. Okay. So let's let's do uh, AliExpress. They're pretty good about giving some actual dimensions. There we go. Oh. Not the one we wanted. Okay. Got to watch that. There we go. That's what we want to put in here. What is this? Ten of them for 40 bucks? So four bucks a piece? You can still find them cheaper. But look at those specs. 26 millimeters by 32. Isn't that great? <laughs> so 26 by 32. So let's make a pretend square here. That is... Let's see... Width is 32, height is 26. Okay, that is tiny. We could fit that a lot of places. <laughs> I might have given too much room here. So if I look on this thing, yeah, there wasn't enough room here, but there's way too much room over here. 
So I might just, I might redo that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I won't care this time. If you want to redo it, you can. I don't know. I, I'm going in between. I'll, I'll care. I'll care here. So what did I do? I did 24. Oh, that was, I don't know what that was for. Let's see. Keep my imagination going here. So we're at 40, which is a lot of space. I'm going to go 45. There we go. Okay. And then that would be able to fit beautifully anywhere. Okay. Uh, yeah, I really do like that. Okay. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do the same thing here. So I'm going to see, is this part of the outside? No, just delete it. Okay. Take this, center it. There it is. Okay, take the inside, copy, paste, find that center, wait till it, there it go, there it goes, okay, now it's centered, Let's see what do we do, I hold down shift, I join those guys, okay, so got all the other original tools down there, hold down shift here, hold down shift here, what do we do, do we do an intersection, no, do a union, no, did a difference then. Okay. Let's difference it. So let's see what would be this. And this gets differenced. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. We have a bunch of outside things we have to delete on this one, though. So delete that. Get rid of that. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then again, reborrow that outside piece. Copy, paste. And center it. Sweet. Okay. So now there's a lot of space out here. Right? So a lot of extra padding. And then, where, where's our dummy chip? There's our dummy chip. So that will fit nicely in here in a little pocket. Okay. Let's take a closer look at that chip. So we need, let's see, 5 volts to V in. Okay. Okay ground to ground, and then the data comes out of D4. So really, we just need like that tiny little edge of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the acrylic and carve it out just a little bit. So, my favorite thing to do, right? <laughs> uh, offset. Let's see, so I'm just going to give it like a padding of 3 millimeters on each side. I'm going to make it uh, square and hit OK. So I'm going to take this and... Let's grab it. Oh, there we go. There's the edge. Okay. And I'll put it somewhere over here. Right? This should be out of the way. So I'll have the LED starting here. It'll go around. It'll look beautiful. And stop here. The light will still easily come through and hit all this. I might even be able to put them on the inside of here. I don't know. We'll see. I might do that. That'll look cool, actually. Whoops. Didn't mean to grab that. So this is the size of the chip. There's two millimeter padding should be enough but now that i'm saying i'm doing all this extra stuff maybe i should make it five millimeter padding okay four or five cool i'm gonna grab the corner there we go make sure it's resting on there get rid of this okay and we're still inside the actual wood so hold down this hold down shifts like that and difference it there we go. Okay. So now the acrylic has a cavity. Okay. That's where the brains are going to go. And then I'll probably, yeah, just have the wire sticking, like, just drooping out of here to plug it in. Okay. So this says welcome. Let's see. It's got the patterns. It's got a place for brains. Okay. So this is a much more finished sign right here. Okay. You can do a lot more cooler things with this. So... It started out, you know, just this little, what was it? Yeah, just back and forth, right? But now we have actual mounting holes, and so everything can be riveted together. It'll look really nice in front. Uh, we have a textured letters, so that'll look a lot nicer with the, with the light coming through. It'll be a little tougher to weed, but we'll use some vinegar. And then we have actual accommodations for the chip. Now, I could have, like, I don't know, had this come out a little bit 
and had all sorts of accommodations, like fit a nano, fit all sorts of chips over here. But I don't know. I like that it's just the right size. So I'll uh, I'll start cutting all this stuff out, and then I'll video myself building it. Thanks for watching.